to just get into gang fights and like flowers and music and white girls named Debbie Do. Hello, YouTubers, subscribers, and friends. Welcome to my channel. It looks like it must have rained last night when I was asleep because it rained yesterday afternoon when I was done painting for about 20 minutes. But that looks like it had some flooding there because my wash is all flooded out. 6.30 in the morning and it is 75 degrees. It actually feels a little bit chilly outside. I gotta go cash in this $10 lottery ticket and buy some bread or else I won't have anything to eat for lunch. My wife went grocery shopping yesterday and she forgot bread. So I told Larry, Larry just got here and he's like, uh, make sure you buy wheat bread. I'm like, what are you talking about, Larry? That I only eat wheat bread. He said, oh, that bread we ate last time was white. I said, no, that bread we ate last time was honey wheat. It just looks white because it's not black like that bread you're used to eating. He eats his bread that's like, I don't know what kind of wheat it is, but the bread is freaking almost black and it's got seeds all over the top of the, the edge of it. I don't know how he chooses because when he makes a sandwich it weighs like 10 pounds. You know, look all these roads are flooded and everything. I don't like buying bread over here because it's so expensive, but I got no choice. Either buy bread here or drive 25 minutes to the nearest grocery store and get bread there. I don't got time for that kind of stuff. I'm awake, but my brain is still asleep. Look, I had to buy it in the car and I, I bought one. Hmm. Freaking. I haven't woke fully up yet. <sighs> Look at the skies, look nice. Oh, bright light, bright light, bright light. Who says that? Is it a movie? Oh yeah, Gremlins. They don't like bright light. Alright, well, I don't know what Larry's going to do today. We pretty much don't got that much to do anymore. Just the stairs. And I got the trim in the truck, so he can't be working on the stairs until I get the trim back. <clears throat> So I had somebody told me that I, I should have put drawers under the stairs. Uh, my wife doesn't like drawers. She likes to store stuff in little plastic Tupperware type things. You know, those big square plastic tubs that you get at Walmart. She likes to store stuff in that and stack them on top of each other because when she has drawers, she can't fit anything in a drawer. You can only put so much in a drawer and you can't open it. My wife's like a pack rat, so that's why we didn't put drawers under the stairs. And besides that, I got so many drawers in the house, I don't need any, any more drawers to give her more places to pack stuff. It's a little pack rat. That looks cool. See, we had some serious flood in here last night. Hmm, it wasn't raining that hard. Look at our little rabbit. Look at our little rabbit. Cute little sucker, you running around in front of me. <laughs> Alright, that's what the trim is going to look like. The wood's going to be here. And it's going to butt up to the trim. Like that, but that piece is going to be gone. This is the transition from the wood to the tile. And starting on the top, working our way down. We have the first one done, the transition done. This is going to be baseboard here. But uh, this will be painted at another time, not today. That's how it's going to look. And there are all these others to do. And there's the second step. Looking good. It was sparking all inside here. I'm gonna take it apart and see what's going on in here. It smells burnt. So this is what happened, man. This is broken. This is bare wire. Hmm. Smells like burnt toast. I'm running over here since I can't do anything to help Larry. He's doing the stairs himself. I'm gonna see if they have the electrical stuff to fix this. It saw. It seems like all his tools are always breaking down and then he jiggy breaks them, we don't fix them right. And then he has problems all the time with them. So hopefully they have what I need here, like the connectors. I got the uh, 
little gadgets and some shrink wrap and hopefully that'll fix this problem man it is freaking hot 92 degrees ours for reverse brother come on let's get it going just like new look at this shrink wrap everything let's test it now Larry All right, me and Larry are both having brick peanut butter sandwiches. I think that's what they're called. Right, Larry? Brick. Because they're like really, really heavy. My mom made this. It's uh, organic bread with natural chunky peanut butter and you said raspberry jelly? Mm -hmm. And some homemade trail mix. Um, I don't know what these things are here. They look like pumpkin seeds, but they're awfully dark. But the homemade trail mix is good. I don't know what that is. Whoops. But uh, that's what we're having. Bon appetit. It's uh, I don't can't do nothing to help Larry with the stairs. He doesn't have time to fix his truck so I'm going to change this tensioner pulley for him while he's doing the stairs. It's the new one and that's the old one. It's such an easy job. It takes five minutes literally to change this. This has some play in this pulley here and it squeaks really bad when he runs his AC so all you got to do is take off this bolt right here and it's off. That easy. And just like that it's done. Less than five minutes. New belt, new pulley tensioner, new compressor, new uh, the the hydrator, the heat humidifier, whatever that thing's called back there for the AC. So there you go. So some people said it's not a tiny house because there's no kitchen. Well, if you've ever been to Asia, you'll know that Asian people they can live in a 10 by 10 square room and they will still have a kitchen. They will have their coffee maker. They will have a hot plate and then they have a rice cooker. And that's what they consider a kitchen. And that's what my wife is gonna have in here. She's got, she has her coffee maker that she's gonna have in here. She's going to get a small refrigerator. I just don't know where she's gonna put it. She might put it under the stairs or she might have it in the closet there, who knows. But I don't think it's gonna go upstairs. And she has a hot plate also, electric hot plate. So she'll have everything she needs to uh, cook in here if she wants. I don't know if she'll bring a rice cooker in here, but I'm, I guarantee she's gonna have storage of some something in here stacked in boxes in here. That much I know. I wonder what the, these laminates look like out in the sunlight. Yeah, the grain is, that's actually, you can feel this. It's like carved in there like real wood. And this is the, like the joint between two pieces. And these things are pretty pretty tough, pretty durable. I tried to break one and it's really hard to snap it in half. Nice. Shiny. What is this called again? This is called the uh, hand scraped Saratoga Hickory laminate flooring. In case anybody was wondering what we're using, and that's what it looks like. Chiny. So I'm laying on the floor, trying to get an idea what it's like to be sleeping on a lower level. I have the ceiling fan switched to where it pulls the air up, and I can still feel the AC blowing on me. If I switch to the other switch to blow the air down, It'll be a very nice place to sleep down here. At least I don't want to go back up the stairs in the middle of the night. I have that couch that folds flat like a bed. Actually pretty comfortable. 621, finishing up the day. Check out that sun behind the clouds there. Larry is finishing up the closet, doing the closet. The stairs are done. 
it feels a lot cooler now. It's about 90 degrees. All these clouds. Look at this one right here. Big, huge, puffy cloud. Looks like there's a face in there right there. Two eyes and a nose right there. Let's go ahead and take a look at the finished stairs. Finish up the closet there. We got some touch up painting we have to do. Maybe I'll do some this weekend or something, but check out the stairs there. My wife likes the white. I bought a gallon of dark brown paint to paint this because this is primer. But she likes the white. She says she's gonna paint it the white that we painted the walls because she likes the contrast and it shows you each individual step so you don't trip. All we gotta do to finish up here is uh, put three more stick down tiles in the baseboard. And this is done. See how that looks going down? Looks nice. And we got the transition here going from the steps to the tile. Goes along good with this. Looking good. My wife goes up and down the barefoot and she says it feels nice on her feet. Now all we gotta do is the uh, floor there and the baseboard's down there and pretty much it's done. Look at that, crop circle. All right, well, that's gonna do it for me. End of the day, the stairs look beautiful. Larry did a good job. If you like these kind of videos, smash that like button, leave me a comment below. I read all comments and reply back to them. I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Like always, get out, go!